I'm not alone. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another, you guessed it, it's another reaction video, okay? Please do like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on my Instagram at RealCarrieO. It's going to pop up on the screen somewhere here, 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 here. <laughs> this reaction video is about a girl who says that her nail tech lied and told her her nails are like $40 when it was supposed to only be $30. Get into this video. Yo, I can't even show y'all any of this. We're gonna do it anyway! It is just, it's a bunch of <laughs> And it's only over $10. Like, I can see if you were told it was $30 and it ended up being $330, then you know, we gotta talk. We don't have to fight. But we're definitely gonna have to talk about it. But Jesus Christ, the nerve. Oh, but $10. Girl, if you ain't got the extra $10 to get to the lady, you don't even need to be there in the first place. I said what I said. Because when I get my nails done, they not doing right now. I've been playing violin, so don't judge me. If you don't have extra $10, you're tripping. Like, you need to be tipping them $10. So they make sure they get you right every time you come through. Oh my gosh, they're throwing things. Y'all, like there is the lady in here. I guess she just hopped up out of the pedicure chair. She started to fight the, the nail tech and now she's just throwing stuff all over the place. And she's trying to fight like other staff, but the staff is fighting back. Sometimes the staff take it too far. Like when they actually try to, and it's usually a man, there will be a man trying to fight a black woman, which I think is wrong. You know, that's totally out of pocket. But there's a lady, she's standing her ground and I don't blame her. You're not about to come up in my business, my family business acting like this. You could take that fuckery on outside. Like, we don't need that in our life. They have their phones out. that she's saying I don't have the ten dollars I think if you would have just calmed yourself the way that she went about this is just so wrong and so ghetto like why why we can't take black people nowhere why y'all always gotta act like this cuz baby I don't hang around the women that act that way and as soon as you start mm -mm, you kicked out the friend group girl mm -mm. everybody in here is fighting there are so many people just arguing amongst each other it's just so much chaos going on in here and this video is mad short too, so I still have to commentate it between because I don't want nobody trying to pull my video down, but you know. Why won't the lady just leave too? Like you could have just ran out. Like, like you dying and dash, like nail and dash, like girl run, like why? Why you gotta be in there all out, your hair all over your head, you looking like you literally just got up out the bed and just went. Like you didn't brush your teeth, you ain't do nothing. This ain't cool. Over $10, it's not that deep. Girl, I just said this. See, I'm not alone. I know y'all agree. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you think she is wrong for acting like this over $10. Or would you act the same way if somebody told you one price and it was $10 more when you got there? Okay, y'all, this is a short one. This is the end of this video. I don't know who that lady is, but she literally made a clown out of herself in the 30 seconds it took us to watch that because what? Why? You walk into someone's establishment with that attitude over $10 when you could have pulled someone to the side and said you didn't have it. You could have called your mom because homegirl looks like she's no older than maybe 22, but you know black don't crack so shy. We don't know. But she could have called one of her, her friends. She could have asked for a cash app. She got mad. Or she could have asked the price before they even started working on her. Why would you go out and you're going to get your nails done 
and all you have on you is $30. Why would you do that? What if something happens to you? What if your car breaks down and you need a tow? Honey, it could be anything that could happen and you may need more money. You always take more than what you need. You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be in cash, it could be on a car. But anyways, y'all, please drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this crazy lady. We're on the road to 100 subs right now, okay? I just started. Please show me some support, you guys. Help me be encouraged, all right? You made it to the end of the video. I just wanna let you know. You the shit, girl. Don't let nobody tell you different.